You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Randall Newsom here with your WMAR 2 News update. Well, it's a tragic case of deja vu as a 10 year old shooting victim is hit in the same spot where he was shot just four years ago. Police in Elkton say last week a person opened fire outside the boy's house on West High Street just after midnight, targeting someone inside. Now, the boy was hit in the same leg where he was shot in a similar shooting at a different location back in May of 2020. The odds are just astronomical. You know, you don't think that something like this would happen a second time, especially to a child this young. Um, but there are things at play that unfortunately put this child at risk. And he has family members and people within that home to thank for that. Now, the boy's grandmother says he is recovering physically, but is still dealing with the emotional trauma of that shooting. Well, there's a proposal to redevelop an abandoned shopping center in Baltimore County, but not everyone is on board with it. A new law incentivizes developers to add affordable housing units to future projects by removing zoning barriers, which is what Mark Renbaum is looking to do at the Lutherville Shopping Center. He originally submitted an application back in 2022 to turn the area into a mix of housing and commercial developments. The updated law takes effect on January 1st of next year. Well, health concerns for a star player and a beloved assistant coach with the Ravens. Mark Andrews was in a car accident yesterday on his way to the Under Armour Performance Center. The Ravens say Andrews did not have any serious injuries, largely because he was wearing a seatbelt at the time. The team also announced that O-line coach Joe D'Alessandris was hospitalized over the weekend dealing with an acute illness. They've hired George Warhop as an offensive line coach to temporarily fill that position. All right, let's take a look at the forecast from meteorologist Stevie Dings. Happy Thursday, everyone. Highs today will be hitting the upper 80s to near 90 degrees, dealing with abundant sunshine, but that sun becomes more filtered throughout your Friday as more clouds drift in from west to east. The bulk of your Friday looks rain free Saturday, dealing with the chance for some spotty showers and storms, some of which could be on the stronger side. So we will be under that marginal risk, a level one out of five for your Saturday, as damaging wind and periods of heavy rainfall will be the top concerns. Back into the 80s this weekend because we have more cloud cover and we also have some of that rain cooled air. It's going to feel humid as well. Those thunder showers persist into early next week before we dry out our skies on Tuesday and Wednesday. Randall. All right. Thank you, Stevie. Hey, we want to give you a big thank you to everyone who supported our stock to school drive. We had a picture of perfect weather to collect supplies for students and teachers before they go back to class. The donations will be divided among several groups, including the Harper County Education Foundation, the Student Support Network and our book drive partner school, Abbotston Elementary in Northeast Baltimore. All right, guys, you'll find the latest on the top stories of the day by going to WMAR2news.com. And for the news and weather while you're on the go, make sure you download our app. Thanks for watching. I'm Randall Newsom.